Good morning, everybody. Just Brooklyn here, and I'm so excited because Alicia, our wonderful sound and energy practitioner, has agreed to let me show you a little bit of her room, and she's going to talk us through what sound and energy healing is. So come with me now. I'll just flip the camera around. Okay. Hi, Debbie. How are you going? Hi, Elka. How are you? So, hey Karen, how are you? Good morning. I'm so excited to... Hi David. <laughs> Hi Alicia. Hi Fatma. How are you going? Everybody, this is Alicia. Alicia is our sound and energy healer. Is that the correct terminology, yes. Alicia? <laughs> Great. Good morning, Gina. Um, Alicia, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Um, I'm a traditional Reiki healer, so I've I'm a Reiki master, and I, but I just do a little bit um, different from Reiki. It's still energy coming through. I work through the chakra system of the body and with a pendulum and see what energy blockages are going on through the body. Once I established that, then I would bring energy into those areas of the body that may be blocked. And then we start using the sound and the sound helps shift the energy as well and clear it and rebalance and rebalance the energy centers in the body. Wow, and how did you get into this? It sounds like such an interesting field of work. Um, I guess it's a calling. I just started gathering my tools actually and I didn't really know what I was doing but I was gathering my crystals. I probably started with crystals and um, my staff and then I just started gathering more things and the next thing, um, I went to a spiritual development class and started really developing <clears throat> what was already there. Mm -hmm. And that's when I did my Reiki and, and started how to, how to use the energy that's coming through. Mm -hmm. It was already coming through. It was just a matter of what is it and what do I do with it? Um, one of our viewers, Gina, has just asked if you're talking about being a light worker. Uh, I guess so, yes. Yes. What is a light worker? Oh, we're, we're, there's, we're all light workers in a way, I guess. It's about yeah, bringing more light in, into the world. It's about sharing the light with people as well. Okay. So what were you doing before you became a, a healer? Uh, I was a police prosecutor. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I was a police prosecutor for 20 years. It was very interesting driving past my old work this morning. Coming here, I've been driving that way for 20 years and I'm like, yay, I'm not going there today. Wow. <laughs> it was really exciting for me. Actually. What a big difference. Yeah. And it's so beautiful to hear that you're actually, you know, being your authentic self now and you're doing the work that you're really passionate about that's aligned with who you are. It's aligned with who I am and it's about being my true self. Mm -hmm. It's about being true to who I really am and what I was meant to do. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, you have so many interesting things here and for people who haven't had a session, would it be okay if you could perhaps talk us through what, what the process is? I mean, what, what can we expect from a first session? Um, well, as far as the tools, mm -hmm. um, I sort of have a bit of a process that I go through with the tools. Um, the rattle, the rattle kind of, uh, Moves old energy, it sort of shifts old energy in the body. Okay. It's really, really tribal and really has a way of, um, yeah, I tend to use it a lot with heart chakra, I do find, and it helps you know, bring that energy, old energy, up and out. Mm -hmm. um, after rattle, I tend to use my drum, drum um, as well. They all, they all shift the energy, they all shift the energy around, but the drum. Um, is usually used after the rail, um, over the feet, over the entire body, over all the chakras, over the headspace. What does the um, drum do? Oh, the drum is the same. It's still, it's still shifting the energy. It's still mm -hmm. bringing it up and helping to rebalance that energy in the body. It's the sound. They're all sound. So the sound is what, and the vibration of the instruments is what you can feel in your body and which helps shift the energy. It's what makes you feel good after your first day of sound healing. It's because of the, the, the vibration of the, of the tools. Um, so Gina has just said, you're amazing. Leaving a male-dominated industry 
and energy and call to healing and energy helping with others. That's so beautiful. And she's saying to you, thank you. Oh, thank you. That's really <laughs> nice. It, it's, not, um, it's not an easy thing to do. It's not an easy thing to um, sometimes follow your true path. It's, it's not easy. And it's not easy to step out of um, a career. No. That you've been in for 30 years. So it's hard. But yeah. I'm doing it and I'm so happy doing it. So much happier. I think that's so inspiring. Yeah, it's really nice. So, can you talk us through some of the uh, other tools the singing that you use? The singing bowl, um, after the drum and the rattle kind of shift it up and move it, the singing bowl kind of smooths it out and brings in a real healing energy in the other singing bowl. Um, just once again, it's the sound and the vibration of the singing bowl. Um, this one, again, heart chakra, but it just smooths the energy out a little bit. Yeah, I'm a good two meters away from you and I can feel the vibration and it's coming through the phone, yeah. actually, yeah. The, um, and I have another singing bowl, it's only a new purchase actually, but it's kind of like, I call it Big Bertha, and she's under the bed. And this one is a... Um, wow, that is a big singing bowl. This one is um, a new bowl and it's very grounding mm -hmm. and she's any but very strong, so not always appropriate for every client but just it's a strong energy and the sound of it is really strong so I can give you a little bit of sound with that one too. That would be great. Gina just said with the last one um, she can feel it through the sound on the phone. Oh that's amazing. Yeah um, some people who can feel energy some of these um, tools they just go right through your body and that's how they shift the energy. follow your heart especially in relation to work and she wants you to know that she can feel the vibration from the singing bowl and she's located in, in Tasmania oh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Gina is asking if you run any online courses for people to check out um, because she thinks it's resonant and much needed I don't run online courses um, yeah <laughs> Come to all psyched up. <laughs> okay so um, what would you say, I mean, I certainly find that what you've done is so inspirational in changing careers and it's so evident how passionate you are about what you're doing now. Do you have any advice for other women who are perhaps on the cusp, they're at the crossroads and they're thinking maybe they're dissatisfied in their jobs and they'd rather be doing something? What, what can you advise them in terms of getting them across the line? Oh, practice. Start your daily practice. Start with a daily practice of meditating or clearing yourself. Clear your energy. Clear yourself so that then you can follow your true path. Mm -hmm. You can't follow your true path if you're stuck in old energy or old pain. Clear your energy so that the new way can come forward. Okay. Does that make sense? It makes a load mm -hmm. of sense. Um, does anybody have any questions for Alicia just before we start um, wrapping up? If you do, please just let me know. Otherwise, you're most welcome to drop them in the comments section afterwards. Um, I was just wondering while we're waiting to see if anybody has a question, if you can walk us through the crystals because I'm not sure if I can get them on the camera. I'll try, but we've got direct sun coming okay. in through the window. But um, I'll see if I can show everybody. What's the significance of the crystals on So each of the crystals I have is for a chakra. So the rose quartz is for the heart chakra. Mm -hmm. This is citrine, which I use on the solar plexus. That's my favourite. This one is a carnelian, and the carnelian is really good. It's got all these lines through it. And that one is for okay. solar plexus. Okay. The um, smoky quartz is for your root chakra. Mm -hmm. This is the amethyst, which is for crown chakra. We have a little um, lapis, which is mm -hmm. for third eye. And this one, the name's going to get me. I can't remember. And that's for your throat chakra. 
Okay. And so once I find there's a blockage in the chakras, I put the crystals on the chakras as I'm working through the body with the sound and with bringing through the energy to help clear the chakras as well and rebalance. That's what the crystals do, clear and rebalance. Okay, wonderful. Well, there aren't any questions, but sure. I'm sure what often happens is people miss the live and they see the recording later. Um, but I'll let you know if any questions come and it would be great if you could answer them. Yeah, sure. But um, what days are you down at the practice? I'm here on Thursday afternoons from 2.30 till 9 and Fridays from 8 to 2.30 and every second Saturday. Perfect. I just thought I'd ask in case somebody's thinking sure. that they might like to give it a go. But um, you guys, you've met Alicia now um, and you've got an idea about what she does and you're most welcome to come down or give her a call anytime and she's happy to answer any questions that you might have. But thank you so much for watching us today, everybody. We'll let you go and enjoy your morning. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Bye, Alicia. Bye. <laughs>